it do it's your girl coming through with another video what's up guys i am excited i am excited if you see the title of this video you know what i'm excited zero life cooking well at least you know the early stages this is just stage zero okay but zero life cooking is finally here and i just saw a little notification in the group i was like hell yeah hell yeah so i thought let me quickly just do a bonus video um because i wasn't gonna upload anything today and let me just do a bonus video just going through this awesome huge update now i spent so much time talking through this video and when I came to edit, realized I was not recording my voice, so this is a voice over. So I'll be talking over and through this video. So I don't know what's gonna come up next. I can't remember. And we are going to try zero life cooking. I'm so excited. I can't wait for this just to just grow and expand. And you have to remember this is just the early stages, okay? So everything is new. You can I think you can only cook one thing, and we're gonna go through all of this. So this is me. Um the zero life cooking items are at the right of the store when you come in, and the first thing I saw was this salt shaker so it's a cooking condiment um and it says it's a salt shaker wooden it's zero life cooking uh condiment is inedible so you can't just eat it standalone it has 30 uses and it's quite expensive for 30 liters i don't know like because if it's gonna be like i don't know I don't know. If it's gonna be as expensive as BU, I'm like, what is what is the point? I should just go out to BU, right? But the thing I had about BU was the expired, like everything just expires. I'm like, I just didn't like that. So here, yeah, cooking recipes now. Information, zero love cooking recipes are intended to be used with our cooking system. All products are scripted. Cooking um recipes are not reusable and have limited uses why wow, oh okay see each product for the number of uses okay so this is the baked potato recipe zilla cooking recipe cooking recipe five uses land impact one okay this is something that i mean obviously i was reading it but i didn't really fully it didn't really fully click to click to me that the recipes have limited uses and be you like obviously you buy a recipe and you have it for life like you don't need to keep on buying it like you buy the recipe you put it in the recipe book and then that's it like you have it for life this one only has uses now i don't know why they did that why does the recipe have you um limited uses so you have to keep buying the recipe which i don't like so that's the first thing that i'm noticing noticing now that i do not like why does the recipe well, does the paper deteriorate like how does like why is that so that's kind of one thing i'm not liking it's 10 linden so i'm gonna go get it Eat, and beside each thing is those lucky chairs so if you if you if your if your letter or number comes up you can get it for free honey free honey so that's one thing i didn't even notice at the time i was recording it's only now that it kind of sunk into my brain um, so maybe this is good that I'm doing a voice so, <laughs> so um, yeah so the recipe like I just saw there it, you need potatoes and carrots and I did see a lot of farming and like you can see in my inventory right now I have a lot of potatoes and I have a few carrots so hopefully these will work because I did it quite a while ago so hopefully it will work in this new cooking system now we're on the final little section which is where you buy the cooking tool and here's the message so zero life cooking tools are are a used to are used to cook your own foods snacks and other consumables cooking tool requires zero life recipes to be used these can be purchased and collected each okay i just won't allow myself to read that so this is a portable cooking range it reminds me of like what they use in korea which makes me have very happy <laughs> so this is the cooking is 50 linden um obviously it's a one-time purchase and you have it for life 
I am super excited. I am, well, I was super excited, but let me talk like, <laughs> like this is life. So I am super excited to try this out, but like uh, that really threw me off, you know. The whole, re the recipes are not reusable. You have to keep on buying the recipes. So I don't know, I don't, I don't know. I don't, oh, do you know what I just, I just got an idea. I was like, now that we're getting a look at Zula cooking, let's, we should, I should go back to BU for a bit and look at the cooking system there. So we can, so we can have a video just comparing the two systems, you know? So here, I, me and my friends are always needing these vitamins, okay? Especially me, you know, Mila stay needing she stays needing vitamins so i thought i should just pick up a couple of vitamins whilst i was here but um and then after i pick up these vitamins we are going to head straight to my home and we're going to start this cooking thing i am super excited to start let's go okay so now i am at my home in bayside i live in this like cute container style home in front of the water is like a nice like second home for me you know so we are here um and this i've just finished unpacking and rezzed out the cooking tool is quite big it's bigger than i thought it would be but hey hey so it comes with this um note card which is gonna be hard for me to read now because this is a voiceover it comes with this note no card on how to use it so let's just go this is early access so please note the zero lab cooking system is currently in early access okay so more information and products will be released over time so you have to understand this is this is the bare bones all right so don't like don't think that it's gonna have jam packed full of everything it only has one recipe and you just have to give it time okay so i'm gonna follow these um follow these so it's cooking um cooking with the cooking tool so you just tell me to res it you require using the zero lab hood once you have res touch the cooking tool to see more options such as cooking options so i have to res the recipe so that's the one thing you have to do after you finish resing the tool you res the recipe um and then you res the recipe and then you touch the recipe and, and confirm the action from the um dialogue box okay so that's what you need to do i'm still shocked that recipes are not reusable they don't have limited uses i'm sorry i'm that's throwing me off that's crazy um so i touched it i i added the recipe into i'm adding i'm adding the recipe and then the next thing that's gonna happen is so once the recipe has been added you can then press the cook menu button in the cooking tool and select your recipe from the dialogue box so that's what we're gonna do next okay so this is so cool and this is, i really like the idea of actually oh my god if i have to go if i'm gonna go back to bu and we're gonna try to cook in there so you can have, so we can have like a live comparison and i can have a comparison for myself something i can look at to see the difference, to see where Zillab may go to, um, to see what's possible out there, um, which I really like the idea, but that is going to require me getting the hood again. I have a kitchen, obviously, but I have to get an update. I have to get an update of everything. So, eee. okay. Anyway, so the next thing we need to do is, um, uh, is we need the required ingredients to complete the recipe so we need to res the ingredients near the cooking tool and then select add in from the dialog menu and that pops up and then we add them so we add the ingredient we add the recipe and then we add the ingredients to the cooking and then we can start cooking after that so that's great like you can see i have a lot of potatoes i did quite a bit of farming i did <laughs> i did quite a bit of farming i saw there's a new vegetable which is broccoli so i may i don't know i may do that um if you haven't seen my zero life farming video which i did in preparation for cooking 
I will leave a little card in the top right corner. Hopefully, I do not forget. <laughs> but if I do, I apologize. You can go search for it yourself. <laughs> So now that's when we're raising one potato. This recipe requires one potato, I think it said two portions. I think it said two portions of carrots and then one use of salt. Um so that we need to just get all this out. It automatically deletes if it uses the whole thing. If it doesn't use the whole thing, it remains and you can take it back into your inventory. So I have a lot of potatoes. I'm just thinking. <laughs> I have a lot of potatoes. Okay. So here's the carrot. And um, we're going to click on that. We're going to add that. And it shows you the recipe. So two uses of carrot. I have four uses. So I'm going to have two uses left. So it's not going to delete the whole thing. I take it. And then the last thing I need is the salt, which is one use. One use of salt, and the salt comes with I can't remember, 25 uses, 30 uses, I think it was 30 uses, yeah. So we're going to activate. Now we have all the ingredients, now we have the recipe in the cooker, we have all the ingredients added. So now when we click on the cooker, we have some options. We have auto cook and we have a mini game. Now the mini game is really cool. I think that makes this kind of system a little bit more unique because BU doesn't have this. It makes it unique to, it makes it unique to Zero Lab. And you can just auto cook and you'll cook after some time. Or you can play the mini game. If you play the mini game, it, um, it increases the, uh, the quality of the food so the mini game is really cool i like it all you have to do is that you have to um correspond and just give me some arrows that pop up above in the hover text above the cooking tool and you have to match the arrows with your arrow keys on your keyboard and i guess the quicker you do it the higher your score will be and obviously don't make any mistakes and yeah and that determines how many points boost you get okay so i i did a few mistakes okay i did a few mistakes i had to get used to i used to it okay so i had to get used to it so that's what we're going to do right now one thing though one thing though is that like you can see as soon as i started clicking like my camera moved i wish it will like once you start clicking or once you start when you press mini game i don't know any time before you start playing i wish it will lock your camera into a position where you can see you know what i mean because as soon as i clicked my our buttons i was far away so like you can see the mini games does not take long it takes a like what a couple of seconds like 30 seconds or less than that and we have an amazing piece of food now i wish it rests slightly more on top of the cooking thing but that's okay that's all right so i'm just gonna drag it down and this is it it looks delicious doesn't it it looks delicious um, it has 3% bonus now because I did the mini game. I do believe it's 3%, right? Because I did the mini game, I did make some mistakes in the mini game, so you could get higher stats if you didn't make no mistakes and you were a little bit faster than I was. Um, so yeah, that was it. Like, it's really simple, it's really just you know. And I clicked on it, and to see, if we get uh, is that four uses? I cannot see. So you guys, you guys can see better than I can. So you get a couple of uses, which is good. I was already, my stats was already full. So I, I wasn't hungry. I think we're, we're, we're near the, I'm um, at the end now. So let's review everything. So the thing is, is that obviously this is early access. So obviously things are, they're going to expand on things. And, but I think the thing they need to work on next or in conjunction with other things is that it's a bit boring like i do a little clicking i love the mini game i love that but i think my my avatar needs to animate it needs to look like she's cooking as well like i'm doing things um i'm doing things 
based on the mini game, but she also needs to look like she's cooking because what's the point of having this role play hood when I'm not role playing when my avatar is physically not role playing? So they definitely need to do the animation. I feel like this that's definitely some one of the first things they need to develop on. What I did notice is that when I clicked on the finished food there was an option to use that finished food to make something else. So there's already, we have a, a sneak peek on stages. So later on, there's going to be stages to cooking. So you're going to have to make something in order to make something else. So I love that we get a little glimpse of that mechanic. I hope that animation is one of the things that are gonna they're going to work on in the near future because I think that's a big, a big thing. But that is your glimpse Suzy Lab Cooking, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please thumbs it up, leave a comment. We had 20 or 50 subscribers actually. Hey, we, that was one of my mini goals to reach. Now that we've reached it, we need to just truck on forward. The next mini goal is 300 subscribers. So, hey, if you like this content, subscribe, if you like it here, okay? So, that's it for today's video. I hope you liked it, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.